But this half hour, we're going to show you some incredible space images. And in order to really do them justice, you need to see them across what lies beyond everything's perimeter. We are aware. Humans have done so for millennia staring into the night sky, wondering where the universe ends or if it ends at all. The James Webb Space Telescope has just delivered a discovery so profound that it may alter our perception of reality as a whole. Webb has finally revealed what is lurking just beyond the universe that can be seen and it's nothing like we ever imagined. Imagine standing on Earth, looking up at the night sky. The light you see isn't just light, it's history. Every galaxy and star is a time capsule. The farther we look, the further back in time we peer. The James Webb Telescope becomes our time machine. Unlike Hubble, which could peer billions of light years into space, Webb's infrared eyes can penetrate cosmic dust and see the earliest galaxies that formed more than 13.5 billion years ago after the Big Bang. However, there is a catch. The universe itself is expanding. That means the farther we look back, the more quickly galaxies are rushing away from us, stretching their light into the infrared spectrum. That is exactly what Webb was designed to capture. Webb has been staring at deep fields, tiny areas of sky that appear empty to the naked eye but are filled with thousands of galaxies. In fact, one of Webb's first images revealed galaxies that existed when the universe was less than 300 million years old a blink in cosmic time. Now, here's where things get wild. Webb was pushed to its limit in the direction of the cosmic horizon, the edge of the observable universe. This is the farthest distance where light could ever reach us, limited by the universe's age of approximately 13.8 billion years. But what Webb discovered at that horizon shocked astronomers. Instead of fading darkness, Webb picked up strange patterns clusters of galaxies that appeared to be much too advanced for their age. Galaxies that shouldn't exist that early. Some even appear older than the laws of physics would allow. This raises terrifying questions. Are we witnessing evidence from an earlier universe? Could these galaxies be a glitch in our understanding of cosmology? Or is Webb showing us hints of something beyond our observable bubble? To fully grasp why this is revolutionary, let's break it down. The observable universe doesn't mean the entire universe. It's just the part from which light has had enough time to reach us. Beyond that edge, we simply can't see. But the universe itself may extend far beyond possibly infinite. Thus, when Webb looks into this frontier, it's like pressing your face against the glass wall of reality itself. Humanity may be witnessing, for the first time, what's on the other side. Webb's instruments, particularly near CAM and near SPEC, were built to capture faint galaxies with incredible precision. But when astronomers processed data from the edge of the observable universe, they saw something they couldn't explain. Clusters of galaxies appeared brighter and more organized than models predicted. Even more perplexing, a few emitted unusual signatures in their spectra patterns of light that don't match known elements. At first, scientists thought this might be a calibration error, maybe Webb's instruments were misreading signals. But repeated observations confirmed it. These objects are real. One possibility is that Webb has detected the first population three stars, the universe's earliest stars, forged from pure hydrogen and helium. These stars were believed to be massive, burning hot, and dying young. Yet Webb's data suggests something more complex. Some of these stars may have lived longer, or fused elements in ways never seen before. But there's another, more unsettling possibility. A few of Webb's deep field images suggest that light from these galaxies has been lensed by gravity. Twisted and distorted by massive structures we cannot yet see, the edge of our observable universe may conceal vast voids or cosmic walls so immense that they bend spacetime itself. If that's true, then the outermost universe is not a smooth horizon, it's a boundary shaped by colossal, unseen forces. Here's the twist. Some researchers suggest that what the James Webb Space Telescope is detecting could be bleed through from another region of spacetime, perhaps even another universe. 
Theoretical physicists like Michio Kaku have long speculated that our cosmos might be just one bubble in a vast multiverse with countless others beyond our reach. If so, then Webb may have already given us the first indirect glimpse of this greater reality. Imagine it, the strange galaxies Webb discovered may not belong to our universe at all. They could be echoes, overlaps, or shadows from a neighboring cosmos. And if that hasn't sent chills down your spine, consider this some scientists argue that Webb's unusual spectral readings might not just reveal stars and gases, but something more unsettling, patterns of light emissions that resemble artificial signals. Could these be the fingerprints of technologies beyond our understanding? Of course, for now, it's speculation. The scientific community remains cautious. But one fact is undeniable Webb has seen something at the cosmic edge that defies explanation. And that raises the ultimate question, what does this mean for the fate of our universe? Zoom out for a moment. Why does this matter to us, clinging to a tiny planet orbiting a modest star in the Milky Way? Because Webb's discoveries are rewriting everything we thought we knew about cosmic history. If galaxies at the edge are older or more advanced than our models predict, it means our understanding of cosmic evolution is incomplete. Perhaps the universe formed stars and galaxies far faster than we believed or perhaps it has undergone cycles of creation and destruction long before our own Big Bang. If gravitational walls or voids exist at the boundary, shaping the universe into structures far more intricate than smooth expansion, then we are glimpsing a kind of cosmic architecture one that reshapes our view of existence itself. And if the multiverse is real, then our universe is not the ultimate reality, it is only one bubble among an infinite foam, each with its own laws of physics, its own worlds, perhaps even its own versions of us. Here's the most humbling truth, the observable universe spans 93 billion light years across, but beyond that, it may go on forever. And Webb has only just scratched the surface. What happens next? Researchers will spend decades analyzing Webb's data, while future missions like the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will push even deeper into the unknown. Someday, we may even send probes beyond our solar system, chasing the mysteries Webb has unveiled. This is more than astronomy, it's the dawn of a new era for humanity. For the first time, we must confront questions once reserved for philosophy or myth. Are we truly alone? Does the universe have a beginning and an end or is it eternal? And most unsettling of all, is our reality just one of many? Michio Kaku once said that Webb is like a time machine, peering into the mind of God. With its latest revelations, it feels as though we've caught a fleeting glimpse behind the curtain of creation itself. One truth remains clear, the James Webb Space Telescope has not only transformed science, it has changed human history. At the very edge of the observable universe, we are beginning to see the impossible, Webb has brought us to the threshold of everything we know, and beyond that horizon lies a reality greater than we ever imagined. The question is no longer whether we can explore these new frontiers. The question is, are we ready to face what we find?